evening, traders. This is Brian with TraderShark.com, an educational website to learn how to trade the E-mini S&P futures. Today is Friday, September 23rd, 2011. The following are examples of trade setups that occur on a regular basis. We are showing nine valid trade setups for a max potential profit of 48 ES ticks. The market opened up this morning at 11.15. That's represented by this white dotted line. We have a no trade zone from 9.30 until 9.45 Eastern Standard Time. The one exception to that rule is if we have a trade set up in the direction of the gap fill, which is up there at around 11.24.75. In this case, we had an opportunity to get long. Target one was hit. We got stopped out for minus two ticks. We then had another opportunity to get long. Target one was hit. We got stopped out for minus two ticks. We then had a third opportunity to get long. Target one and target two were hit for a total of 11 ticks. Coming out of the no trade zone, this trade did happen awful fast. We chose not to take this trade. Target one and target two were hit for a total of 11 ticks. Then right there at the 10 o'clock reversal zone, we had another opportunity to get long. Target one was hit, got stopped out for minus two ticks and had an opportunity to get short, an opportunity to get short and did not get filled on it. Market continued to pull back. It did hit target one and target two, but we did not get filled. As the market continued on, support continued to be by opening price. Target one and target two were hit for a total of 10 ticks. And then the market took off pretty strong up here to the hourly range high broke through the hourly range high, broke through the hourly range high again, pull back, looked like a nice opportunity to get long, target one was hit and we got stopped out for minus two ticks. Then once they broke above this resistance area, another opportunity to get long, we did not get filled, it proceeded on to fill T1 and T2. We had a total of six trades this morning with four reduced risk stop outs, two completed trades for a total of 21 ticks, and two no fills and a trade we missed for 11 ticks. All in all, in actual trading, we had minus eight ticks plus 21. At this point, we're up a total of 13 ticks. Just because you take a stop and get back in the game and watch for the valid trade setups. From 11.30 to 1.15, we have what's called a no trade zone. It's just a period of higher volatility and lower volume, and we do not trade from, from 11.30 to 1.15. Coming out of the no trade zone, uh, we had some market internal indicators were, were telling us not to be in these trades. So if they're indicated in yellow, these are trades that we do not count for the purposes of counting the trades versus the ticks. However, they still were valid setups according to the trading plan. We had an opportunity to get long. Target one was hit. We got stopped off for minus two ticks. Within four minutes, I think, we had another opportunity to get target one and target two for a total of 18 ticks. This is, again, trades that we did not count, but they were valid trade setups broke back up above the hourly range high, through the hourly range high, found it as resistance, an opportunity to get short, target one and target two were hit for a total of 13 ticks. Market then went into sideways expected Friday afternoon consolidation, another opportunity to get long, target one and target two were hit for a total of 15 ticks. Sometimes I will say in the trade room that if you wish to scale out at the high, the double top, it's perfectly safe. So a lot of traders safely took their target one and target two out here at the double hop. Other traders held on for the T2 of a total of 15 ticks. Then going into the close, below the hourly range high, we had an opportunity to get sh short, target one and target two for a total of seven ticks. So we ended the day for a total of nine trades with 48 ES ticks. To learn more about these and more advanced trade setups or to get a copy of the TraderShark trading manual, please visit TraderShark.com. Thank you and have a great weekend.